So if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, you got to go together. And you're a big advocate, and I think maybe a topic of many of your articles, and I'm not sure if you're going to be doing an upcoming book on it, is about mentoring. Because that was one thing that all the high achievers that you interviewed, or at least the majority, had in common, correct? That's right. And that is the topic of the next book, but that won't be coming out till spring 24. All of the high achievers surrounded themselves not with one, but with a team of mentors. And this is something we can all do for ourselves. And frankly, if it's good enough for the Nobel Prize winner, it's good enough for me. And these are people who believed in that person more than they believed in themselves. Because on the road to success, you have more bad days than good days. You learn to build up that armor, right, to protect you from all those things. But you have more bad days than good days. And you need someone who will pull you out of that funk, which will happen. Now, Dr. Kathy Cram out of Boston, she said there's two parts to a mentor. There is the, the job and the career-related mentorship, but also the psychosocial support. And they have to be able to do both. They help you with the long-term vision for your career, but they're also your cheerleader on, on the side, which is what's so important. Now, it's important to also have a diverse team of mentors because a problem that you're facing might have been solved by someone in another industry. So having a diverse team who can advise you is helpful. Now, this is not a board of directors that all needs to meet around a conference room table. They don't even need to know of each other's existence. You just reach out to certain people on your mentoring team as their expertise is needed. So for example, my mentoring team includes physicians, scientists, educators, finance people, lawyers, military people. 